The crypto world is buzzing. The heavyweights, the people who saw Bitcoin coming before anyone else, are making a new bet. The Winklevoss twins are calling it encrypted Bitcoin. BitMEX founder Arthur Hayes predicts it could skyrocket as the only refuge from a surveillance economy. Joining the movement is early Bitcoin adopter Mpur Degada, best-selling author of Mr. Bitcoin, How I Became a Millionaire at 21. Degada has recently started advocating heavily for Zcash and the vital importance of privacy. He positions privacy coins not just as an alternative, but as the next major evolution in the cryptocurrency narrative moving beyond simple speculation to actual financial sovereignty. Naval Ravikant is championing it, famously calling it insurance against Bitcoin, arguing that we need protection not just from inflation but from total transparency. Even Edward Snowden helped launch it. They aren't talking about the next meme coin. They are talking about Zcash, but why? What makes this specific privacy coin so special that billionaires are banking on it? Have you ever thought about the difference between spending a dollar bill and spending Bitcoin? When I hand you a dollar for a coffee, the transaction is private. The bank doesn't know. My neighbors don't know. Just me and you. But Bitcoin? Bitcoin is actually like living in a glass house. On the blockchain, every transaction is recorded publicly. If I know your address, I can see how much you have, who you sent money to, and when you did it. It's secure. Sure. But it has zero privacy. Zcash allows you to pull the curtains. It gives you the option to shield your money so that when you spend it, no one can see the details except you and the person you're paying. But if the network can't see the money, how does it know you aren't cheating? To explain this, we have to talk about zero-knowledge proofs. Imagine I claim I found Waldo on this chaotic page. You say, prove it. If I point to him, I give away his location. I lose my secret. In Zcash, I use a mathematical cardboard with a tiny hole. You see Waldo through the hole so you know I found him, but you have no idea where he is. I proved the truth without revealing the secret. This is called a ZK snark. It is the engine that makes digital privacy possible. But building this math wasn't just about code. It required an act of faith. When Zcash launched in 2016, the founders had to generate the initial cryptographic keys for the network. There was a catch. If the master key used to create the system wasn't destroyed, whoever held it could print infinite Zcash without anyone knowing. Now you're probably asking yourself, why are the founders of Gemini, the founder of BitMEX, and Silicon Valley's most famous philosopher all rushing into the same asset? The Winklevoss twins, Arthur Hayes, and Naval Ravikant just bet millions on Zcash. And their reason has nothing to do with profit and everything to do with survival. For the last 10 years, we have been told that Bitcoin is the ultimate exit from the system. But in late 2025, the smartest money in the room quietly admitted that Bitcoin has a fatal flaw. It is transparent. It is trackable. And in the age of AI surveillance, that makes it dangerous. While retail investors were distracted by meme coins, a massive shift occurred in Q4 of 2025. First, the Winklevoss twins launched a dedicated treasury to buy 5% of the entire Zcash supply. Second, Arthur Hayes, the man who invented the perpetual swap, revealed Zcash is now the second largest holding in his fund. And third, Naval Ravikant dropped a quote that has haunted every Bitcoin maximalist since October. Bitcoin is insurance against fiat. Zcash is insurance against Bitcoin. Today, we are breaking down the privacy pivot. We are going to look at the exact wallets, the $10,000 price predictions, and why these three authorities believe that in 2026, privacy will be the only luxury left. Let's start with the Winklevoss twins. Cameron and Tyler are the gold standard for institutional crypto. They aren't hackers. They are billionaires who built Gemini, the most regulated exchange in the world. They don't take risks on vaporware. So, when they announced the launch of Cypherpunk Holdings in November 2025, Wall Street paid attention. This isn't just a small investment. They poured over $100 million into this entity with one singular goal, to acquire 
5% of the total circulating supply of Zcash. But you need to understand why. In their press release, Tyler Winklevoss didn't talk about number go up. He talked about artificial intelligence. The twins' thesis is terrifyingly simple. We are entering the age of AI agents. In 2026, AI won't just be writing emails. It will be analyzing financial data at a speed no human can match. If you are using Bitcoin or Ethereum, an AI agent can map your entire life, your salary, your doctor visits, your location in milliseconds. They called Zcash encrypted Bitcoin. Their argument is that privacy is no longer about hiding from the government. It's about protecting yourself from the data scraping algorithms that run the new economy. By hiring Zcash founder Zuko Wilcox as an advisor in December, they signaled that they aren't just buying a coin, they are buying the infrastructure of freedom. They believe that as AI becomes all-seeing, the only assets that will hold value are the ones that can stay dark. If the Winklevoss twins are the shield, Arthur Hayes is the sword. Arthur is the founder of BitMEX. He is a trader's trader. He doesn't care about ideology. He cares about asymmetry. He wants to find the trade that offers 100 times returns with capped risk. For years, Arthur ignored privacy coins. But in late 2025, he updated the portfolio of his family office, Maelstrom. The revelation? Zcash had quietly become his second largest liquid holding, right behind Bitcoin. Arthur's thesis is purely financial. He argues that the market has mispriced freedom. He points to the removal of the trusted setup in the Zcash protocol upgrades. He points to the halving. But mostly, he points to the implementation of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, rolling out globally. Arthur's prediction is violent. He stated in an interview that he sees Zcash going to $10,000 per coin. Think about that number. That is a market cap rivaling Ethereum's peak. Why? Because Arthur believes that when capital controls kick in, when you can't move your dollars or your Bitcoin because of sanctions or flags, money will flood into the only liquidity pool that cannot be frozen. He calls Zcash, Bitcoin, with a cloaking device. He believes we are seeing a rotation from transparent store of value, Bitcoin, to private store of value, Zcash. And since Zcash has the same 21 million hard cap as Bitcoin, the supply shock could be legendary. Next, we have to look at the voice leading the charge from the fastest growing crypto continent on Earth. Poor Degada. If you don't know the name, you haven't been paying attention to the global south. Mpor became a millionaire at 21 by betting on Bitcoin early. He wrote the bestseller Mr. Bitcoin and has shared stages with legends like Robert Kiyosaki. For over a decade, Mpor was the poster child for Bitcoin in Africa. But in late 2025, he shocked his audience by declaring that the Bitcoin era was effectively over. His advocacy mirrors the harsh reality of emerging markets. In places where currency controls are strict and governments are unstable, a transparent ledger isn't just annoying, it's a liability. Mpor argues that Bitcoin has become a zombie chain slow, expensive, and completely exposed to surveillance. He is spearheading a new revolution, aggressively pivoting his portfolio and his community into Zcash. Why? Because he believes Zcash is the goldmine of the century. Finally, we have the philosopher. Naval Ravikant is not a hype man. He was the first money into Uber. He was the first money into Twitter. He understands network effects better than anyone in Silicon Valley. On October 1st, 2025, he posted the tweet that started this entire firestorm. Bitcoin is insurance against fiat. Zcash is insurance against Bitcoin. What does he mean by that? Naval is highlighting the biggest risk to crypto that nobody talks about, fungibility. 
If I send you a Bitcoin that was previously used in a hack or a gambling site or a sanctioned country, exchanges can freeze your account. That Bitcoin is tainted. It is worth less than a clean Bitcoin. That means Bitcoin is not truly money. Money must be fungible. Every dollar must be equal to every other dollar. Naval's bet is that Zcash is the only digital asset that restores this property. Because Zcash uses zero-knowledge proofs to shield the history of the coin, every Zcash is mathematically indistinguishable from every other Zcash. Naval isn't buying this to get rich. He's buying it as insurance. If the world turns hostile toward crypto, Bitcoin is a sitting duck. It's a public ledger of your crimes. Zcash is a black hole. He trusts the math. And when the guy who predicted the rise of social media platforms a decade early tells you to buy insurance, you listen. So here is the reality of December 2025. The media is telling you crypto is dead or boring. But the Winklevoss twins, Arthur Hayes, Umpur Degada and Naval Ravikant are aggressively accumulating the one sector that protects them from the future. They are betting on a world where privacy is the ultimate luxury. They have put their millions on the table. The question is, do you trust the transparent ledger or do you trust the math? This is not financial advice, but it is a financial warning. The smart money is going dark. Maybe you should too.